embark on a journey through military history as we delve into the realm of the 10 biggest and largest ammunition explosive shells. From towering mortar rounds to colossal artillery projectiles, this exploration unveils the monumental impacts of these awe-inspiring weapons. Let us unveil the stories behind some of the largest and most influential explosive shells ever created, showcasing the intricate balance between technological innovation, strategic necessity, and the sheer scale of destruction in the annals of military ordnance. At number 10, the 457mm. The 457mm ammunition represents formidable naval firepower with a substantial caliber of 18 inches, used in large caliber naval guns such as the US 18 inch 48 caliber Mark I. This ammunition is designed for battleships and other naval artillery systems. The sheer size of the 457mm rounds imparts significant destructive power, making them effective in long range engagements and contributing to the overall firepower of naval forces. The deployment of 457mm ammunition underscores the emphasis on heavy caliber ordnance in naval strategies during the early to mid 20th century. At number 9, the 457.2mm. The specific dimension is significant in the context of artillery and naval weaponry. Notably associated with the BL 18 inch Mark I naval gun, in military terms, an 18-inch or 457.2mm bore diameter represents an exceptionally large caliber gun. The BL 18-inch Mark I naval gun was a formidable piece of artillery employed by the British Royal Navy during World War II. Its impressive size and power contributed to its role in naval warfare, particularly on the HMS Furious. The 457.2mm bore diameter signified the width of the gun barrel, underlining the sheer firepower and range of this naval weapon. Such large caliber guns played a crucial role in the naval arms race and the evolving nature of maritime conflicts during the early 20th century. This ammunition was also used in BL 18 inch railway howitzer. At number 8, 460mm. But the most common gun that fired this caliber is the Japanese 46cm 45 Type 94 naval gun, which was the largest ever mounted on a warship. Only two ships carried them, the Imperial Japanese Navy's World War II super battleships Yamato and Musashi. The immense size of the 460mm shells allowed for a devastating impact, making these battleships formidable opponents in naval engagements. The caliber of 460mm indicates the diameter of the gun's bore, showcasing the significant firepower and destructive potential of this naval artillery. The use of such large caliber ammunition was a testament to the technological and strategic developments in naval warfare during that period. At number 7, the 508mm. The 508mm caliber refers to the bore diameter of the Rotman gun a massive artillery piece used during the American Civil War. The gun was designed by Thomas Jackson Rotman, a U.S. Army officer and inventor known for his contributions to artillery design. It was cast from iron and featured a distinctive cooling system, with a water jacket to dissipate heat generated during firing. This design innovation allowed for prolonged use without risking damage to the gun. The 508mm 20-inch caliber of the Rotman gun signified its impressive bore diameter, making it one of the largest artillery pieces ever used in warfare. At number 6, 520mm. This is only used by a Bouzier D520 model 1916, which was a French railway howitzer that was built during World War I. They used a combination of cradle recoil and sliding recoil to handle the recoil forces generated by firing its enormous shells. Its rate of fire is one round per six minutes and has a maximum firing rate of 17,000 meters. With its 520 mm caliber, this howitzer fired enormous shells, emphasizing its role as a heavy siege artillery piece. The primary purpose of the Abuzir 520 was to destroy fortifications and other heavily fortified enemy positions. At number 5, 600mm. This refers to the bore diameter of the Karl Garrett 
a massive German self-propelled siege mortar used during World War II. The Carl Garrett was specifically designed for siege warfare and played a role in the bombardment of heavily fortified positions on the Eastern Front. The sheer caliber of 600 mm underlined the extraordinary scale of this artillery piece, emphasizing its role as a strategic weapon for breaking through heavily defended enemy positions during World War II. Seven guns were built, six of which saw combat between 1941 and 1945. It was used in attacking the Soviet fortresses of Brest-Litovsk and Sevastopol, bombarded Polish resistance fighters in Warsaw. Number 4. 610 mm The 610 mm caliber or 24 inches used in the monster mortar refers to the bore diameter of this historical artillery piece. The monster mortar was a massive mortar designed by French artillery officer Henry Joseph. With its enormous caliber of 610 mm, the monster mortar was a formidable siege weapon. Such large caliber mortars were typically employed for the bombardment of fortifications and were considered effective in breaching heavily defended positions. It saw action at the Battle of Antwerp in December 1832. At number 3, 800 mm. This refers to the bore diameter of the Gustav, one of the largest artillery pieces ever created. The Schruer Gustav, officially known as the Gustav gun, was a German railway gun developed during World War II. The fully assembled Gustav railway gun weighed nearly 1,350 tons and could fire shells weighing 7 tons to a range of 47 kilometers. The Schruer Gustav held the record as the largest caliber rifled weapon ever employed in combat and, in terms of total weight, stood as the most massive mobile artillery piece ever constructed. It fired the heaviest shells of any artillery piece. At number 2, the 914mm. The 914mm caliber refers to the bore diameter of the Little David, a massive mortar developed by the United States during World War II. With the same caliber as the British Mallet's mortar, constructed in May 1857, it is one of the largest caliber guns ever built, having a larger caliber than both of Germany's Schroer Gustav. Little David's overall effectiveness would have been questionable because of its limited range and accuracy. As Japan surrendered, rendering the planned invasion unnecessary, Little David still in its experimental phase never had the opportunity for combat deployment. At number 1, 914mm. The 914mm caliber refers to the bore diameter of the Mallet's mortar, which was a 19th century British shell firing mortar built for the Crimean War, but was never used in combat. The mortar was designed by Robert Mallet and was constructed in separate sections so that it could be more easily transported. The Mallet's mortar had a shell weight ranging from 2,352 to 2,940 pounds. 1067 to 1334 kilograms. During testing, using an 80 pound 36 kilogram charge, it propelled the lighter shell to a distance of 2759 yards, 2523 meters, with a flight time of 23 seconds. And that, guys, was the 10 biggest and largest ammunition explosive shells. We're winding up for today, but stay tuned for more exciting videos from the buzz. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscription button if you enjoy our videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.